Hello guys and girls and welcome to another really good tutorial. Before I start today's tutorial, I would like to make an announcement. Uh, two days ago, I was about to upload the finale of Drake's Fortune. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I also do Let's Plays, uh, gameplay walkthroughs, and I was um, playing Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, Naughty Dog's very own successful, phenomenal title, but um, I had an issue with the game capture software, Elgato, that froze right in the middle of uh, my session. So I wasn't able to upload the finale of this epic title. Therefore, I lost about 20 minutes worth of footage. Um, so there might not be a finale to this game just yet only because it will take a while for me to get to that segment but when I do I will make an announcement and let you guys know when to look out for it. Let's get into today's tutorial. I have a brilliant, an epic, phenomenal piece of software to show you guys today. I believe most of you, if not all of you, will find useful. And that app, ladies and gentlemen, is Yoink. Now, Yoink is a desktop application that will help you hold any file of your choice in a little stack or a little folder to carry to any point of your workspace, wherever you choose. It is totally up to you. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me drag the channel logo over to the left here. Ta-da! You see, there's a little panel with an arrow pointing down. So, what I'm going to do right now, watch this. I'm letting go of the channel logo. Let's just drag this back here. I'm going to put these two files in here also. And I'm going to put this folder in here too. As you can see, these files are now in this very panel on the left hand side of the screen. Now, let's say I want to use Final Cut Pro in full screen. Let's do that right now. Ta-da! We are now in full screen. And this panel hasn't moved an inch. So, take a look at this. Say I wanted to move these two movie files over to the timeline, the project timeline. Watch what happens. Did you see that? Oh, and what a face to freeze frame on. Wow, thank you Final Cut. Now I know you love me. Um, Let's move right along and uh, I'll show you something else. Let's move the 
the channel logo over to the project bin also. You see that? All that's left in this panel is the motion projects folder. The reason why I have this folder in this panel is to show you Yoink doesn't only support images and movie files. You can also um, drag folders and files into this panel to transition between workspaces. So let's exit out of full screen. Minimize Final Cut. It's worth mentioning that when you take files and folders out of this panel, it doesn't mean you have permanently deleted them from your computer. They are still very much in your system. But this app is here to uh, help you transition workspaces easily so you also have the flexibility to completely delete everything that's in this panel but remember when you do that it doesn't delete the files from your computer only from this panel so all we do is click on this uh, brush icon on the bottom right and it sweeps the files away. You also have the flexibility to change the position of the panel. Now I had it at left edge center. You can place it left edge bottom. The only time the app is visible on your desktop is when there are files within what I like to call this cookie jar. Um, you also have the option to, let me demonstrate, expand this panel. Let me first of all change the window position once again to show you what you can do with it. So left top. Right top covering the Mac HD and whatever files and folders you might have uh, down this side of the screen or right edge center finally right edge bottom now this is where the uh, dock is usually positioned and it's not really ideal to have this here because as you can see it interferes with the dock itself so it's not really practical so let's move this back to where I had it left edge center Swoosh, nice animation there. I'm going to show you what else you can do. Window size. Now here is where it gets interesting. If you have more than three files to transition from window to window, you can actually change the window size to biggest which means you have the option to put more files in there like so
this could go on and on or you can also go smallest which would be space for just one file you know um so that's nice to have but i'm gonna go back to the default and sweep these files away um you saw how easy that was another thing you can do with this app is if you don't want this to be in one position you have the option to actually make this panel visible wherever you point and click your mouse so if we go into preferences and be sure to uh, check launch yoink at login to have this file this file this app on hand whenever you please or otherwise you will have to go into your applications folder to launch but that isn't what i want to show you what i do want to show you is the behavior section of the yoink preferences menu now here i have automatically show when drag starts in the description it says if activated yoink's window will show any time you drag files if deactivated you can manually show yoink's window with a keyboard shortcut as shown below which is f5 if this file wasn't in here you can actually make this panel visible by pressing f5 on your keyboard Ta-da! there you go i'm holding down the f5 key right now something else you can do is as i've mentioned before you can choose to show the panel to your mouse location when a drag is initiated so if i was to check this what will happen is see the the panel actually moves around the screen so see now it's moved down and you see if yeah when you move it to either side of the screen it sticks to the left where i uh, originally set it so yeah the the panel changes its position according to the mouse's location so that's fun and of course i guess to successfully what is interesting it's difficult to drag and drop files when you have the preferences set to have the panel change its position according to the mouse location if i demonstrate once again uh well i guess it it takes a little getting used to uh, yeah. 
it works now for some reason. But when I first did it, it refused to stay still. I just really wanted to show you this app, guys. I think that it will be fairly useful to many of you out there. Um, if we go back into preferences, you also have the option to ignore apps that you don't want to trigger Yoink with. So, I don't know, let's say caffeine, for example. As you can see, you can check and uncheck applications and uh, or you can change the list to automatically to choose which applications should automatically trigger yoink. So you really have the flexibility with this app to, you know, use it as you please. So let me show you how else you can use this app. Sometimes it doesn't activate properly. And I think that's because your your clicks can sometimes be unresponsive and it doesn't trigger it or it could just be a glitch either way it's still a great app to use if you do use multiple files and folders at the same time for separate workspaces i have three images in this cookie jar and I'm going to open Pixelmator. Create a new image and agree with the default settings right now and uh, just for demo purposes, I'm going to drag the channel logo over to this blank sheet of paper and we'll see what happens. You can see there's a plus sign, which often means an app is ready to accept files outside of an open application so let's let go of the mouse right here and see what happens ta-da as you can see the channel logo has now moved to the blank sheet of paper open in Pixelmator. We can do the same with this one, which was a, a thumbnail for a previous video, or we can move the Last of Us thumbnail and use the images as we like. when in Pixelmator. So that's one thing. This app can almost be used with any application of your choice. I don't think that there is a restriction when it comes to what apps you can use and the number of apps you can use. 
with Yoink. I love it and I reckon you guys should go ahead and purchase this app in the UK. I believe this app costs around four ninety nine, so four pounds ninety nine. That is it for today's episode, guys and girls. I really can't recommend Yoink enough. It really is a phenomenal app. Go get it. You won't regret it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, thanks for watching, guys and girls. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Really Good. This is B signing off.